There is an abundance of allegedly haunted locations in the world. However, locations with video or photographic evidence of their haunting is much more rare. Luckily, thanks to vloggers, paranormal investigators, and curious visitors, these five popular locations now have tangible files to support the theory that ghostly spirits can haunt the halls of any location with the past. Number 5 Schools may not seem like scary locations, even with a rich history. In very special circumstances though, a school can be the source of paranormal activity. That seems to be the case with this school in Ireland, known as the Deer Park Christian Brothers School or Deer Park CBS. The faith-based educational center went viral after uploading security footage taken from the inside of its school. First, it's important to know the background of the location though. What's now a school campus was once used to hang criminals in the 19th century. It was creepily named Green Gallows. Years after the site's purpose changed, leaving behind a vast open space, people living in the area began to share strange stories of witnessing apparitions in the field or having a sense of panic when passing the lot. Later, when the land was being built on, construction workers allegedly complained to their supervisors about tools mysteriously moving on their own and the unsettling feeling of being watched. Some reports claim that workers even witnessed ghostly figures charging towards them. Sadly, we can't confirm if these reports are genuine or even real, but given this new footage though, we can assume that there is some sort of authenticity behind the rumors. The footage, popularized by 12 News after going viral online, shows an inanimate object being thrown around by an unidentified source. The camera points down at a long, dark, and empty hallway of the school. A set of lockers and cubbies filled with backpacks and books can be seen in the center of the camera frame. A nearby poster rips off the wall and darts across the hallway. Finally, a plastic chair glides across the tile floor. Surprisingly, the school has previously uploaded a similar video, although it didn't get as much attention. Still though, it provides further evidence that the tragic past of the land on which this school is built has come to haunt the halls. Number 4 The Moon River Brewery is an established location in Savannah, Georgia with a rich historical past. The company was first built in 1821 and was used as a hotel for several decades. Its last use was as a hotel in 1864 before American Civil War General Sherman claimed the city, damaging much of the area's architecture and stirring violence. After this, the company was used for a variety of different things. For example, it temporarily served as a hospital for patients of the yellow fever outbreaks that occurred in Savannah. Sadly, many people lost their lives while under the roof of this old building. It's likely that if the spirits were truly haunting this location, they were probably the victim of the fever. The building went on to be a storage facility and an office supply store. At some time, the building was abandoned and sat vacant for 20 years. It was finally purchased as a company that would become known as the Moon River Brewing Company a new establishment that plays off the location's history. The strange paranormal happenings occurred shortly after this revival was sparked. According to the homeowners, the activity is so frequent that it's hard to keep track of it all. Witnesses have reported a variety of alleged occurrences, the most notable of which happened in the basement and somewhere on the second floor. It seems that almost anywhere with a historical background tries to play off the concept of being haunted, so it's reasonable to have doubts. But fortunately, in this case, there's more tangible evidence to support these claims. The popular paranormal investigation team, known for their work on the show Ghost Adventures, traveled to Savannah to check out the location for themselves. While there, a series of unsettling events play out as the crew spends the night on the property. The most intriguing thing that happened occurred when one of the investigators stands at the top of a staircase in the basement. He faces the door with his back to the open stairs. He slightly loses his balance for a second and claims that he felt like he was being pushed. Impressed by the powerful energy, he instructs the possible spirit to push him again by shouting, do it. He was not pushed a second time, but something more creepy happened. According to the team, everyone present could hear the whisper of a woman's voice saying, I don't wanna. When the team returned and started reviewing their footage, they significantly enhanced the audio. And in the recording used during the episode, it's undeniable that a female voice responds. I'm turn my back. And all it takes is one push and you could probably very seriously and critically injure me. Whoa. I don't know if that was my balance. 
Let's go. Let's see it. Do it again. Do it. Do you say I, I, hear, I hear, I hear, I hear a woman. I hear, I hear a say, female. I don't wanna. Number three. The Winchester Mystery House is a historical landmark in San Jose, California. According to the information provided on the house's website, Sarah Lockwood Party Winchester lived in the home with her infant daughter and her wealthy husband, William Winchester. Sadly, Sarah lost her daughter to a random illness and her husband to a fatal case of tuberculosis. After losing her family, Sarah moved out west to San Jose, California to start a new life, taking her inheritance with her. She used the money to purchase an eight-room farmhouse. She wasn't pleased with the home's condition and hired teams to reconstruct the home to her liking. This construction is considered the longest home renovation in history. It began in 1886, with some of the work including new skylights, more rooms and bathrooms, several fireplaces and six kitchens. The work didn't end until Sarah passed away in 1922, and by the end of construction, $5 million at the time was put into making the house as close to Sarah's vision as possible. That would total out to approximately $71 million today. The building itself was referred to as a mystery, and people struggled to comprehend why a wealthy, successful, and educated woman would devote the rest of her life to creating a mansion. More specifically, a mansion that's described as bizarre and confusing. The home has secret doorways, twisting halls, and seemingly useless rooms in strange places. Visitors say that it's easy to quickly get lost in the abnormal layout. Following Sarah's passing, rumors of an apparent haunting began. Workers and visitors reported instances in which they witnessed ghostly apparitions traveling the halls, occasionally hearing sobs of a woman, despite the area being empty. Cold spots, spirit orbs, and of course, objects moving on their own. The home was open to the public as a historical museum that held tours of the peculiar and innovative architecture. As you may expect, the Winchester House played off the possibility of a haunting to intrigue guests of a different category. Still, over the years, it's not just paranormal investigators that have experienced supernatural events inside the home. Visitors and museum employees still report the signs that a spirit is present. This vlog, uploaded by Shannon Morse on Halloween in 2018, shows a ghost that was allegedly caught on camera. The video begins with Shannon sharing that she'll be going into the Winchester Mystery Home. At first, the tone of the video is lighthearted and fun. However, something quite compelling and unsettling was captured on the camera in a later point of the video. Around the 9 minute and 57 second mark, Shannon and her friends hear a strange noise. The voice came from inside the house and sounded like a sneeze followed by someone saying bless you. The friends stand outside and question what they heard, debating if someone was inside the home. At this time of night, the home was supposed to be empty, making the seemingly innocent voices much more unsettling. While talking about what they must have heard, they heard something similar once more, this time more like a shout than a sneeze. After that, the group of friends claimed to hear footsteps on the porch. The group was, in fact, standing near the porch, which was vacant when they heard the sound. The friends were shaken by the event, but carried on with their evening. What's that noise? Oh, you heard that too, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. It sounded like somebody was on the porch. House like this. What's that noise? You heard that too, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. It sounded like somebody was on the porch. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Just make it. It sounded like somebody was walking on the porch. Oh my god. But there's nobody up there. I'll be curious to see if you got that in. I know. I was talking a lot, so. Yeah. We'll see. It sounded like someone stepped over there, though. Yeah, it did. I heard it too. Number two. The USS Yorktown is a ship that was used by the American Navy as an aircraft carrier commissioned in April of 1943. Yorktown played a vital role in naval offense during World War II, specifically in Pacific encounters. Known as the Fighting Lady, the ship aided in defeating Japan in 1945, and between the 50s and 70s, the vessel was renovated to perform various duties, mostly relating to the US military and aircraft transport. In December of 1968, Yorktown gained attention thanks to successfully retrieving the Apollo 8 astronauts and capsule. 
the ship was decommissioned in 1970, being set aside and reserved for future use. That use came in 1975 when it was shipped to Patriots Point Naval and Maritime Museum, where it sits today as a historical landmark and attraction. Following World War II, crew members started sharing chilling stories of spirits allegedly haunting the ship. While most of the reports described harmless encounters that are typical during a haunting, some others were much more sinister. Some crew members claimed they were attacked by an unseen force, likely a poltergeist. After becoming a museum in 1975, visitors were fresh to the scene and started experiencing similar events. Luckily, some of these cases were caught on camera. This video was uploaded by the YouTube channel South Carolina ETV on Halloween in 2016. It includes a photo taken by a visitor and a short clip recorded during a paranormal investigation tour. The photo was provided to the executive director of the museum after taking it near an aircraft loaded on the dock of the ship. The image shows a male figure in a naval uniform standing near the helicopter. Although he's mostly translucent and the image quality isn't perfect, you can clearly see the outline of several details of a stone-faced man standing on the deck. As for the video, it was taken when a group of tourists were conducting an investigation pertaining to the ship's haunted rumors. Accompanied by a guide at around 2.30 a.m., the group headed toward the hangar deck of the ship. One woman in the tour pointed to an open door near the end of the hall and asked who is that? After seeing a dark figure move through the doorway, the woman was concerned. An employee calmed her fears by saying it was just a security officer passing through. She informed him that the figure looked nothing like any of the officers she'd seen that night, and it was at that point that the guide realized the figure was dressed in all black, much like security personnel, but didn't have the required reflective lettering on the back of his shirt ruling out that possibility. This evidence was recorded and uploaded later. The figure can be seen walking through a doorway. A significant distance from the camera. While it's clearly an outline of a human, it seems to glide instead of walk. Additionally, no other employees or visitors were in the area where the sighting happened. This could very well be evidence of an old spirit haunting the location where he passed. January 23rd of 2013 on this aircraft carrier, we were hosting an investigation. About 2.30 in the morning, we get up onto the hangar deck. As we're walking through the hangar deck, two of the young ladies point in the residual lighting towards the drink machines to a person who's walking down there and they ask, who is that? I said, it's one of the security officers. The mom replies that it's neither of the security officers I saw tonight, and uh, it definitely was neither of those two security officers. It was a young white male walking past the drink machines wearing a black coat and had a black hat on. Well, I noticed something they don't notice, and what I notice is he does not have security and reflective letters on the back of his jacket. He's not a security officer. After 20 years of law enforcement, my brain automatically defaults to cop mode and I realize we've got a trespasser on the ship. Number 1 The Velissa Axe Murder House once belonged to the Moore family, a decently sized family that was well known in a small tight-knit community of Iowa. The city was described as a thriving business location, with beautiful scenery and an overall happy aura. Sadly, that all changed in 1912 thanks to a twisted and evil violent criminal. On a morning in June of 1912, locals made a horrifying discovery that would change their town's reputation as a peaceful suburbia. Hosiah and Sarah Moore were the parents to two young children. From what everyone could see, the family was happy and healthy in every way. They participated in community events, devoted their time to helping others, and were vital members of the local community. On the evening of June 10, 1912, the Moore family invited two young women into their home. The Moore family and their two guests attended church service later that evening and returned home at around 9.30 p.m. The next morning, at around 7 a.m., the Moore's friendly neighbor began to worry after she noticed the family hadn't come out for their routine daily chores. The neighbor knew their schedule very well and also knew they were home by their single vehicle parked in the driveway. She went over to their home and knocked on the door. She received no answer and couldn't hear that anyone was inside. Although she tried to open the door, it was locked, so she called Hosiah's brother to come investigate. The brother also received no response after banging on the door and several windows. He even resorted to shouting but failed. Using a copy of the house key, he opened the front door and stepped inside to look around, leaving the neighbor on the porch. He quickly discovered the horrific aftermath of a tragedy when he found the resident's guest no longer alive. He came across the rest of the family in similar conditions. Local police were contacted and reported to the scene quickly. After a brief observation, the medical examiner declared that the family had been attacked with an axe. Two cigarette butts were found in the attic, 
implying that the intruder entered the home while the family was away and waited for them to go to bed before performing the horrible acts. The suspect was never found, and in the years following the crime, the house became a center of attention for its sinister past. Visitors that entered the home for various reasons, mostly realtors, started talking about the unsettling energy inside of the home. Many others claimed that while in the house, they witnessed and experienced a variety of paranormal events. After the tragedy, the home went through at least seven different owners and was frequently used as a rental property. Later, it was purchased, renovated, and turned into a historical landmark and museum. Hello, we would love to speak with you. If you can please tell me your name. Do you want to play with us? It's a little too far. You want to play with the red ball with us? Can you roll the ball back to me? Okay, sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep updated with our videos. And if you enjoyed this narration, maybe consider checking out my personal channel at youtube.com slash tie underscore knots.